Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Fanders and this is my college decision reaction video. I've applied to 19 colleges. I'm still waiting to hear back from 16 and I've already heard back from three. Um, Rutgers University, Montclair State and Columbia. I got into Rutgers and Montclair State and I got rejected ED from Columbia. So these are all the schools that I applied to. Um, I'm gonna show you my Columbia reaction first and then I will tell you all about my stats and ECs and things like that. Okay, so I just started recording my screen. All right, logging in. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Hmm, rejected. No. So that was pretty anticlimactic to say the least. I guess what was going on in my head is very different from how I portrayed it on the outside. Um, so anyway, we're going to be going into some of my stats and some of my ECs that may have gotten me into some of these schools. I'm going to be reading off my screen. So if you see me like looking off to the side, that is what I'm doing. Um, so I come from a small public high school in Weehawken, New Jersey. Um, I plan on majoring in international relations, which was my major for the majority of schools, unless they didn't offer it, in which case I picked uh, like a poli sci, public policy, anything like that. Um, I have a 4.0 unweighted GPA, a 4.8 weighted GPA, and I've taken 18 AP classes. Um, I have a 1490 SAT, which I did not submit to the majority of my school because it was below the median. Um, so I did submit it, however, to American, Fordham, GW, Barnard, Georgetown, Rutgers, Wesleyan, William & Mary, and USC. I did not submit it to Montclair because I submitted my application to Montclair as like an early bird program back in May. Um, and so they did not require it. I did not submit it, um, but everything was okay because I did end up getting in. Um, so for my ECs, um, I wanted to start with um, just a few of like the jobs I've sort of held over the years. So the first one was I am a director um, at a national youth policy organization. Um, I've done that for roughly a year. Um, and, and by director, I don't mean I run the organization. I am a director. Um, and then I was also a regional director for a while at a nonprofit focused on reducing poverty. I stopped that role uh, when I started at the, at the youth policy organization. Um, so I did that from my sophomore year to my junior year. Um, uh, over last summer, I was a peer mentor at the International Rescue Committee. I was working with kids aged five through six, um, refugee children to sort of help, uh, you know, develop their school readiness. Um, I was an international development intern um, at an organization dedicated to increasing educational opportunities for kids in post-crisis and developing countries. I ran a team for my county's youth leadership council, and I also served as my school student council president, which went along with serving um, as my as the student representative for my school's board of education. Um, I am the president of my school's model UN team, the editor in chief of the newspaper. Um, I'm captain and first singles for my school's varsity tennis team. Um, and I also had a professional acting career for a while, um, from pretty much when I was like six, um, to kind of when I started high school. Um, so I was in a TV show. I was in a commercial in August, so not long ago. Um, but my main thing was that I did musical theater. So I did a few professional productions. The main one was uh, I was playing young Fiona in the Broadway International Tour of Shrek the Musical, which is something I did mention in my essay as well. Um, so for honors and awards, I was the United Nations Association National Community Service Ambassador awardee. Um, so there were like three levels for that. So I think it was like merit, honor, and ambassador. So the highest level was ambassador and that's what I got. I won the best delegate award at the St. Peter's University Model United Nations Conference. Um, I was also the outstanding delegate for the Columbia Model United Nations Conference. Um, I won the President Circle Award at the Borgen Project, which, which was the poverty reduction organization that I worked for um, in sophomore and junior year. Um, and I'm also an AP scholar with distinction. So next I kind of wanted to go over what I wrote in my common app essay, um, which I think was a, like a really important aspect of my application because it was kind of apart from what I put at like on my ECs list, um, it kind of like illuminated some of the things that I did in my like childhood that like kind of led to where I am um, as far as like my acting career and things like that. Um, so I did link it in the description so you can read it. Um, there's a copy. Um, but pretty much my essay was relating to how 
touring internationally in Shrek the Musical when I was nine uh, kind of influenced my passion for international relations and the fact that I wanted to get involved in international relations at like a very, very early age. Um, kind of, it kind of gave me, gave me like the mental skills and, and uh, abilities to sort of be able to do that. Um, and so that was kind of what my essay was about. Um, of course, you can read it. It's it's linked below. Um, I will not say that it's perfect. It's I would say that it is good. I, I am proud of it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that's my essay. I just wanted to let you know about that as well, since I think it was very important for my application. So without further ado, here are my reactions. Hi, so I just thought I'd give everyone an update um, because I did forget to film a few of my decisions. Um, I just saw the emails and immediately opened them and just forgot to film. Um, but I did get uh, a likely postcard from William & Mary, which is pretty much just like a likely letter. They say like, oh, like, I hope you like the color screen in gold. Um, you'll be expecting good news this spring. So I got that. Um, I got waitlisted from UVA and American, and then I got into Fordham. Um, I got the Dean Scholarship at Fordham, and I also got into the Honors Program, which is uh, like super selective. 19 students per year. Um, so I was pretty excited about that. But yeah, that's everything that's come in. It is currently March 18th. Okay, so I'm going to open my decision letter for Johns Hopkins. Um, I guess for final guesses, I am not going to get into Johns Hopkins. Um, my essays were kind of horrible for this particular school. Um, luckily, I wasn't too passionate about Johns Hopkins. So I think we're, we're going to be fine. Um, but I anticipate this would be a pretty anticlimactic reaction too. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll open it now. Oh, waitlisted. Okay, that's not bad at all. All right, I'm happy about that. Cool, all right. Great. Okay, so I just got the email that Wesleyan is out, um, which I didn't anticipate. I didn't know it was coming out today. Um, so I'm going to check that portal. Um, this was a school where I actually, I got um, a fee waiver for the application. So that's the reason why I applied, but I do really like Wesleyan. So I really do hope that I get in. Um, it is a really good school. Okay, so I'm going to check my portal. <gasps> Oh my god, I got in! Yay! Oh my god, that makes me so happy. Oh, this is the security I was waiting for. Okay, hold up. Okay, hold up, I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> okay, great. Oh my god. That's amazing. Yay! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I'm really happy about that because this is the first school like I can actually that is really, really good and also I can afford. So I'm really happy about that. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to open my William & Mary update. Yay! <laughs> well, I got in. I did get a likely letter from them, so I was expecting this. Um, but super exciting. Okay. All right, great. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm going to be opening my USC decision letter. Um, it's just past six. It came out, I think, at six. Um, so yeah, I'm going to open it. This one I'm a little bit nervous about. <laughs> Rejected. Ah, why? That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to open my GW decision. Um, I think it came out at 4.30, although I'm not entirely sure. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Yay! I got in! Woo! Okay. Great. Okay, so I'm going to open my Barnard decision. Um, final guess, I probably am not going to get into Barnard. Um, historically, a lot of kids from my school don't get into Barnard. Um, so I'm not really expecting much for this one. But I'm about to open Georgetown as well. So I'm going to open Barnard first. 
waitlisted. Okay, not bad. I'm not complaining about that one. Okay, so I just switched tabs from my Barnard portal to my Georgetown portal, so I'm going to check that next. Just waitlisted from Barnard. Oh my god, I got in! I got in! That is so crazy! Oh my god! I got into my top choice! I'm so surprised! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, my mom's about to cry. Are you so happy? I'm so happy too. I, I didn't expect that at all. Oh my god, I'm like shaking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna check my financial aid. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think it's out yet. Hold up. I'm gonna cry. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. All right, bye guys, I'll be back. NYU just came out a few minutes ago, um, so I'm going to open that decision, although I'm not too bothered about this one because I got into Georgetown last night and that is my top choice school. Um, so NYU is just kind of, I don't know, just out there. Um, I'm almost positive I'm getting rejected from NYU. I just think this is a, I don't know, I think it's gonna be interesting to open. Okay, I'm gonna open it. I've been admitted. I got in. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, <yeah. laughs> well, there you go. Great. Okay. Interesting. All right. It's Ivy Day. Um, so I'm going to open all of them in, I guess, alphabetical order. So I'm going to go, I applied to four. So I'm going to apply, I'm going to open Brown first, then Harvard, then UPenn, and then Yale last. Um, so I'm going to open Brown first. Okay, rejected. Okay, great. All right, I'm going to switch my tab and then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to open Harvard. Okay, rejected. Okay, now UPenn is next, so I'll open that one. Waitlist! Okay, not bad. I'm happy with that one. All right, great. I'm going to open Yale last. Yale is last. Um, this is the one I think I have the least amount of chance at because my essays were not very good, but this one's last. Okay, rejected. All right, there you go. That's all of them. Okay, so I'm going to open Stanford, which is the last school that I'm getting. Um, I actually already decided that I was going to Georgetown, so this is just going to be, I, I guess, uh, just interesting to open. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open it now. Oh, <laughs> this one's going to be weird. Okay. <laughs> okay, rejected. Great. Phew, I don't need to. Great. All right, perfect. Stanford was my last decision, so I'm happy to announce that I'll be attending Georgetown University in the fall. I'll be studying international politics um, at the Walsh School of Foreign Service. Um, so thank you for watching. This has definitely been a journey and one that I'm glad has come to a close. Um, so yeah, bye everyone.